Can you hear me? Yes. We can hear you. So we're supposed to be debating anyway? So I ha do I have to push that slash key every time I want to talk? Is that how it works? You, you got it, yeah. And then when I'm done talking, I just un I hold down on the button. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You hold down when you talk, you release when you don't want to. Gotcha, okay. Okay, sorry about that. I haven't hardly ever used Discord at all, so... Welcome to Discord. Welcome. So, Isaac, you're there? Ask yourself, it's not here. Oh, he left. Oh, okay. Well, he's in the other chat. In the other chat room. I just wanted to see if he was, if he was just a clickbait type of a debater, or if he's someone who really was serious about debating veganism. And the reason I say that is because. Uh, when people like Count Dankula put up a just an absolute pure troll video, he's all over that and he wants to debate Count Dankula uh, with his uh, juicy social media presence. When I do several videos dedicated to taking down Name the Trade, he's not interested at all. So that kind of just shows that you're just kind of you're kind of, kind of doing it for the click clicks and the whiz and the publicity. He'd debate me if he was serious about debating veganism. I think he'll debate you just because you've got enough of a following, but I've, I've seen your videos, man, and they're not, it's not really threatening. Oh, it's, it's not threatening. I mean, what, what's, I mean, what, someone has to be, I know you're a vegan, so uh, I'm, the more I'm toward veganism, the smarter I am, the more I am strongly toward mediating the dumber I am because that's your that's your that's your point of view and so that's where your view comes from no, that's not correct at all. Uh, uh, ask, yourself people exactly, all kinds. ask yourself is exactly like that because he said his quote was quote that guy T is the smartest of all these skeptics that I debated of all of them I've debated he's he seems to be the smartest and you know why that guy T was uh, declared the smartest he was declared the smartest because he was the closest one who said, yeah, really, you guys are right. We shouldn't be, uh, animal agriculture is bad. I do eat some meat, but I really, I'm trying to. You guys are really right. So that made him smart. I don't know about nice. smart, but it, it nice, probably bro. puts him as definitely one of the most um, intellectually honest. No, that's just that's just kind of the internet day. I mean, the, the the geniuses are whoever agrees with you, and the the more someone disagrees with you, the dumber they are. So it's extremely uh, subjective that, you say that my videos don't have any threat. No, I just, it's just a lot of it. I think from I've watched your videos, and I I'm not sure you've particularly grasped the argument, um, and none of your argue no, nothing that you've said actually. So it gets around the argument. No, that's that's poisoning the well that I've not grasped the argument. It's that I'm rejecting your arguments. I'm hearing your arguments, but I'm, I'm putting some uh, some some cold water reality on it, and you're not liking that, so you're dismissing anything that I say. And that's poisoning the well to... That's poisoning of the well to, and that's that's extremely common poisoning of the well that comes from veganism is oh you don't understand. No, it's not so much that you don't understand; it's that you don't seem to grasp the specific argument. I mean, I can just start you off and say, um, do you believe in human rights? 
or basic negative right? No, rights. Rights are are something that people grant to other uh, whoever they want to. And so what we've done as humans, we've granted rights to certain groups. And I explained that in my last video. Humans in groups like uh, pets and uh, zoo animals, uh, endangered species. So, so we, we consistently take groups, we grant them rights. And outside of that, you pretty much do what you want. That's the only thing you can do is grant people right, grant rights to, to alleviate any kind of uh, uh, moral problems or ethic problems or fairness problems. You have to grant rights. Yeah, I mean, what is your consideration of these rights? As in, why are we giving these creatures these rights? Name well, what we're doing is we're giving humans rights, the right to uh, provide their own provisions, provide their own survival, which includes choosing their own foods, right? So it's actually the vegans who have to defend stripping that right away, something that we've has been our right for uh, countless centuries. Uh, then you want to go to this new thing because the beans are available. Do you agree that uh, people like Eskimos and indigenous people, it's okay for them to kill animals? Yes, yeah, so this is what I was talking about, about the um, name the beans argument. Um, so we don't, you've sort of gone all over the place. Do you understand the difference between positive rights and negative? Yeah, explain negative rights. Yeah, so negative rights is basically just your right not to be fucked with in a certain way, whereas your positive rights is what extra things are you owed or what extra things can be done. No, that doesn't make sense. You, you can do whatever you – you have the right to do whatever you want to. Okay, Whatever you're capable of doing, you can do. And then what we do is we – yeah, we take away your ability to do things like murder or enslave or rape, things like that. Yeah, I mean, that's a good start. So why do we take away the right to murder and enslave and, and all that? No, that's not taking away a right. That is, that is uh, something that we, we grant. No, no. No choice. Okay, so no, 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 no. I'm not talking about the food. So I'm just saying specifically about murder, okay? Why do we restrict people's rights? Why do we restrict people's rights? Well, we do so on a, Why, on, on a we do so on a, on a fairness agreement. And what do you mean by that? Well, all things are. Uh, I can show. I can give you a perfect example of how all things are structured by fairness. Uh, let's say, for instance, are you against all slavery? Uh, I'm against slavery, yep. Okay. Just pretty much pretty much all slavery, right? Any kind of chattel slavery where somebody is, is in chains and they're forced to work? No, you may be able to um, describe a situation where I can accept that slavery would be justified within that situation. But from a basic sort of deontological position, no, I don't think slavery is a morally good thing. Or you might be able to describe a situation where somebody may have to be enslaved because the outcome of not enslaving that individual is so over-the-top gruesome or fucked up. So then the, the fairness is in that. So you're, you're uh, against unfair slavery, and that would be like going up to uh, a family of farmers and, and capturing them and putting them in chains and making them work for you when they didn't have anything to do with you. Unfair slavery. Why farmers? Why farmers? Just an example of, I'm just an example of just kind of the old time way of a, of an un, a traditional slavery. But what if uh, you live in a country where someone murdered, raped and murdered your family, and uh, the conviction of that murderer was to go to jail, and since you're a vegan, he's going to spend 12 hours a day. Uh, as your slave, and he's going to grow vegan crops for you and slave and toil. Yeah, I don't think that would result in, like, why would I want somebody to be enslaved for beans if they murder my family? Like, how are you jumping from A to B to C? Like, if, if no, somebody I'm, commits murder, then we, then we uh, restrict their right of movement 
as part of their punishment and also to protect um, society. Uh, why would I suddenly be okay? Why would I suddenly say, well, we should enslave them for beans? Well, I'm saying, yeah, he's already in prison. We might as well, I mean, we, do, we, we kind of do this already with uh, this kind of chain gangs. But there's, and probably wouldn't work in the U.S., but there might be a country where that would be allowed, where we figure, and since he's wasting away, he might as well do something to help you since he's done so much to But anyway, even though you might not agree, that someone else might agree with that. Okay, what, you can be my exactly, spoiler. What is that it? Be, that would be the whole point. Sorry, just that. quickly. What is it that you think that you think I disagree with, and what is it that I don't agree with? Like, I agree putting him away in jail if he's murdered my family. I agree with that. But where are you getting that he has to be put, forced into growing beans for me? No, no, my, you're missing my point. My point is, if we did come to some kind of agreement, if the victim and the court system did that, it would be a fair slavery so you're not against slavery you're against unfair slavery and that goes back to my original point that it's a fairness agreement between that's why i can't murder we have to come to an agreement there's only two possibilities in society we have wars and warlords we have pillaging we have raping the only other option besides that if you don't like that if you want to grow as a society is we have to come together with an agreement of fairness where I don't murder you, you don't murder me, I don't rape you, you don't rape me, and that works out splendidly. We have to do this. We absolutely have to do this or things are going to be much, much worse for us. All right, let's just start, from, let's just start from the very – let's just start with some really basic scenarios, okay? Is it okay for me to just murder – don't talk about slave beans or anything like that, just – is it okay for me to just now are you using the, the legal sense of murder which is uh just like an, the person is innocent and you're killing them okay so let me just make it really clear so it's just an innocent person that's minding their own business is it okay for me to just go up to them and just no that wouldn't be okay because you would not want that done to you so that's a fairness agreement and that's what we have to do You've been kept safe your entire life because no one has done that to you. So it would be unfair for you to do that to someone in society when the entirely, entirety of society has not done that to you. And as okay, so you're, you're living mean, and breathing. You're, sort of throw, you're throwing in social contract and reciprocation there, but let's just assume that I could murder this person and there would be absolutely no ramifications for me. Let's just say I could get away with it. Would it be ethical for me to do it? Just go ahead and kill this. You there, Mike? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to push talk. Yeah, that would be, that would be, uh, I would consider that unethical. Okay. Do you believe that um, moral differentiation requires justification? I can explain that further if you want. Yeah, go ahead. So if I treat individual A differently from individual B in a moral sense, do I need to hit give reasons for So if I said it's okay to stab, stab individual A to death, but not morally okay to stab individual B to death, would I have to give a reason? Well, would you have to explain why, what the difference is between A, a and B and why? Yeah, well, that's maybe, it. Maybe, that's just, it. So, maybe, just, maybe you just chose to do A or B. Or like there's, there's, maybe there's no reason. Yeah, so I'm, I'm asking you, do you think if somebody treats individual A differently from individual, individual B, that they should give a reason or that they shouldn't bother giving a reason, that it's just okay to randomly assign whether it's okay to morally just stab someone to death or not stab someone to death? Well, I don't or, do know. You, or should you give a reason? I don't see what stabbing person A has to do with stab with with person B at all. You would have you would deep with deal with indiv each individual person. So person A, you stabbed him, that you shouldn't have done that. And person B, you didn't stab him. So why I don't understand how he's coming into the equation. Actually, that about I it? person A and and the other seven billion people in the world uh, under that. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry about the seven billion people. Just just really simple, okay? So I've got. Person A, person B, A, okay? And I said this was a morally good thing to do. I didn't stab person B, okay? 
and I said it was morally wrong to stab this person. Do you want a reason as to why I'm treating these two individuals differently? Or do you not need a justification at all and you're just going to be like, yeah, that whatever? That's why it's not making sense because there's also 7 billion other people that you didn't stab. So I don't see what, what you're focusing in on this other one person. You stab this one don't, person. Don't worry long. about the 7 billion. Don't worry about the several seven billion. There's no point extrapolating. Just just concentrate on this one thing, okay? So I'm treating two individuals differently, okay? Do I need to justify why I'm treating these two indiv individuals? No, you just have to justify how, why you treated the bad one because you didn't do anything to one. You just the other one you treated you violently. So you have to justify yeah, why you okay, treated so you violently. But you would want, yeah, so exactly. So you want me to justify why it's okay to treat one in one way, but not okay to treat the other in or in the same way, sorry. Yeah, I mean, like I say, you're, you're, you, you treated, okay. Yeah, I mean, I suppose yeah. so. I suppose so. I mean, I don't see what, what difference it makes when you got one person where you didn't do anything to. And how they come into equation, it seems like your problem, your focus should be on the person that you did something to, not the person that you didn't do something to. Exactly. Good. Okay. And if I use that justification, do you think I should be consistent with my justification? You should be consistent with justification why you murdered that one person? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay. So that's basically the basic sort of premise or the basic sort of, um, I guess, uh, pathway for name the trait, okay? So all of us agree that humans should be given basic negative rights consideration, okay? And then the next step is, why don't we give this consideration to animals, okay? And usually the reasoning is because animals are inferior to us in one or multiple ways. So then the next question is, if we reduce a human down to that level, would we treat a human the same way or would we not treat a human the same way? Okay, and if you don't treat them the same way, then you're being inconsistent. But if you treat them the same way, usually it results in some kind of absurdity. Okay, so what, that's what name the trait basically means. It's just- Yeah, I understand, I understand animals, all that. Okay, then what is your reasoning without going into appeals to tradition and, and all of this stuff, okay? Why is it okay to stab a cow to death, but not an, a human, um, just to make them into... You mean the human the human and the cow? That are, they're both identical now? Is that what you're they're kind of like ask yourself, they're both identical? Uh, yep. So you have a cow... You know, specifically a cow and then a human, and they're both identically a, a cow or whatever, right? So all of the all of the things that are important to you will just map the most. So okay. intelligence you level, lifespan. A video, video and wh how did we define first define one of them as human? How did we define them as a human? Because we when we started out, we defined one as human and we defined one as animal, regardless of their their physical appearance. Uh, how did we do that? Okay, so you know we don't need to play in word games. I'm not trying to trick you or anything. Oh, no, that's not, it's so, not a trick. We're, we're going to have to get back into that because that's where the point is. That's where they were different. One was born to humans. That's how you're human. It has a human connection. I said that. And if the cow, that's exactly, if it has a human connection, it can live too because we give rights to all humans who aren't murderous. We give all rights okay, so, to all in-group people. In group members, we give rights to yeah, all. So just in wiki, yeah, just just in wiki is um, the definition of. Sorry, just in the general text, I've put in a wiki um, definition of whatever of whatever of um, humans. Okay, so it's just really really simple. So it's just I think you're saying born to humans is a thing that's that's uh, defining the difference. Um, by the way, if someone else yeah, can jump in, I just need to explain my video that, that they get tree from it regardless if they're human or not. If they're in if they're in group, regardless if they're human or, or animal, 
they deserve rights. So in group is the thing that's uh, differentiating the. No, in group is what we give rights to. Yeah, so I'm saying it's humans are in our specific group of consideration. By Animals can be in that in group too. Okay. Um, I'm going to head off and just do my um, shopping if someone else wants to. You're gonna, well, I didn't hear that. You're going to go shopping? <laughs> I'm actually at the shopping center. I've just been waiting a bit and starting it off. But someone else can jump. Okay, yeah. And back to that, like I say, Isaac is going to have to explain why, if he's if he's a shiller or not. And say it's just it's just pretty stark that uh, you know he would he would jump on uh, Count Dankula's troll video and take mine not serious. Like I said, we almost have a video. Uh, my collaboration with Bering is over 750,000 views. It's a vegan collab collaboration. I have more vegan YouTube views than most all of you vegans. <laughs> nice. There's no, no reason why Ask Yourself can't have a live debate unless he's really scared or something. I guess I can stomp Mike quickly. So, Mike, what's the difference between an animal and a human that makes it okay to murder the animal but not the human? It has to be a specific specific trait like I explained to you. An animal in an in-group, a human in the in-group, they both get protection. Okay, so the trait is being part of the in-group? Hello? Name the uh, so I'm sorry. Name the trait is a dead end broken because we no 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 no, 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 wait, there's a question. Mike, don't dodge the question. The question was is the trait that you're naming in group? No, uh, there's many traits. Okay, but so what I'm asking you is what is it that's true of animals that if true of humans would justify killing humans for food? Okay, cannibalizing an innocent human. That's not a trait, right? It has, it has to be nothing. It has to be nothing. Just let okay. me Wait, so, so, wait, wait, no, 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 Once, I'm, Mike, I want an answer, right? So just to be clear, are you saying there's no trait? There's no trait that would allow you to cannibalize an innocent human, because that's what you're asking with name the trait. Well, just to be clear on the frame, is there some trait that would allow you to do it? The question is, is there some trait true of animals that if true of humans would allow you to do it? Yeah, allow you to cannibalize them, and we're talking about innocent humans. We're not talking about murderous humans, right? Yeah, technically, if you say there's no trait at all, then it's implied that there's also no trait true of animals, that if true of humans would justify murdering the human for food, right? If there's no trait overall, then there's also no trait in animals, because the traits that are true of animals is just a subcategory of the total amount of traits out there. But instead of just assuming that's what you're saying because it's an implication of what you're saying what you said because you didn't directly answer the question i'm just putting the question to you directly so just to be clear you are affirming that there is no trait true of an animal that if true of a human would justify killing the human against their will for food well if you let me i was going to answer that I said we start with the axi well, axiom mike start with the yes or no because it's a yes or no question right but there is no trait yeah, I'm There's asking no you I'm asking you, you to affirm or deny the person. following. So this is a yes or no question, right? So to cannibalize an innocent person. It the question is, is there anything true of animals that if true of humans would allow you to cannibalize an innocent person? Well, would allow as in would justify it on your moral system. Would justify stabbing a human to death and making them into a hamburger. Yeah, explain that. There's there's no trait. Because it's it's okay. an unnatural thing. Because you wait, have to, you have to so just to be clear, human. wait, 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 just to be clear, so there is no trait. Right now. Well, well, wait, 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 we need no, to be clear not, on the line of questioning, right? We need to be clear on the line of questioning, right? We need to be clear on the line of questioning. So you affirm that there's no trait, and presumably you're also saying that there's differential moral status, right? So, so as in, it's okay to murder the animal for food, it's not okay to murder the human for food. 
Yeah, because we have an fairness agreement with other humans though, so we can't murder people for food because you, okay. you do not want to be murdered for food. Yep. So that yeah, view not has murder other contradiction. Yeah. yeah. So that, that view explodes. That's logically contradictory, right? So the reason for that is if you're saying that humans are wrong to stab for food, animals are okay to stab for food, and there's nothing true of animals that, if true of humans, would justify stabbing them to death for food, then you could change every single thing true of the animal. In, in the human, you could change every single thing to match the animal, and it would remain wrong to stab the human to death for food. But what wait, about including in group? every single thing in the human to match the animal, then it should take on this property of being okay to stab to death for food. Right, you so know, you get a logical contradiction there. Properties. Wait, wait, Mike, it's like you're not even listening to the flow of the logic, right? So if you say that, you end up with this logical contradiction in the form that animals are and aren't okay to stab to death for food, right? Depending on the, depending on the context, depending on the situation. Well, no, on, no, 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 Mike, no, 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 dodging, no dodging, no dodging. Right. So we already got, wait, 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 we already got, wait, 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 we already got what we need to know to understand that there's a contradiction. Right. So if it is wrong to stab a human to death for food, it's OK to stab an animal to death for food. And there's nothing true of the animal that if true of the human would justify stabbing them to death for food, then a contradiction will follow. Right. And the contradiction comes about because if there's no trait, then you can switch all the traits in the human to match the animal. But if you switch all of the traits, then and the property of being okay to kill does not change, that implies that the animal has the property of being wrong to kill for food. So you end up with this direct logical contradiction of animals are and aren't okay to kill for food. What if we if we got this magically switching the properties? What if we magically switch both of their properties to an ear of corn? Well, wait, you're not. OK, so, Mike, I'm getting the impression you actually don't comprehend the logic, right? So you have to. You, Boy, you well. what, let's, start, let's start from like real basics. So what, do you understand guys, what you never wait, not Mike, do you well. understand? Do you, do you understand what a logical contradiction is just as like a starting point? Yeah, try try something else. Well, no, this is the argument, right? So, do you understand what a logical contradiction? Is? Well, so you're, I gotta explain to you why name the trade is unanswerable. Well, you no, know, what I want to know is, do you understand what a logical contradiction? is? Yeah, right? so I've, I've tried going down, down, down the line of name the trait with you. Well, just a sec, because because I tried going down the line of name the trait with you, so I've explained where the contradiction is i think either twice or three times now and you're not appreciating it so now i need to make sure you so now i'm going off of the line of reasoning and clarifying that you actually understand the terms that are being used right so do you understand what a logical contradiction is yes could you tell me what a logical contradiction is a logical contradiction yeah it's when you con your contradiction. It's when you contradict yourself. You say one thing, but you it, you uh, say another thing, and then they don't match. Okay, but that's see now. This is probably part of the problem, right? Is you don't actually have a clear understanding of what a logical contradiction is. So the definition of contradiction is not you say one thing and then you say another thing and they don't match. Do you want to try again, or do you want me to just help you understand what it? Yeah, go ahead and let me see what you have to say. Yeah, so a contradiction is the assertion of a propagation and its negation in a conjunction, P and not P. Yeah, listen, I understand all your autism, but you, you do not approach that. Say, so I tried to explain to you that your whole syllogism is framed completely in the wrong way because you are you are you are separating human and animal and then you're putting them together as the same thing as sentient being well wait wait a second wait a second we need to just make sure we have an understanding of the logic here right because if you understand that the syllogism itself is deductively valid then your only way to argue against it is to take issue with one of the premises right 
So we'll get we'll get to that and make sure there's an understanding of validity also. But just to start with contradiction. Um, so can you just I just want to make sure you get what a contradiction is. So can you give me just an example of a logical contradiction? Well, it's like one of the things you said, you can and cannot lift a weight, you know? Sure, sure. And you understand that the reason uh, why it's true that I can lift this weight, it's false that I can lift this weight, is a logical contradiction, is that you are asserting a, prop a proposition and then it's negation, right? So a proposition, that's a statement that can have a truth value. So, you know, Mike is alive or, you know, animals have DNA, or houses are pink, right? So you got a proposition, and it can be either true or false. So when you say a contradiction is the assertion of a proposition and its negation in conjunction, what you're saying there is that you're stating a proposition, so P, and then in conjunction, so and, it's negation, right? The negation is not P. So any sentence of that kind of structure um, you know, it's true that Mike is alive and it's false that Mike is alive. It's true that the sun exists and it's false that the sun exists. Those are logical contradictions. I haven't explained how you said you could switch every trait and you could put anything in. So what if we put plants in instead of, instead of uh, animals? Well, wait, see the problem, the problem is that you want to try to get into talking conceptually about the argument but I need to make sure that you actually understand the nuts and bolts, right? Because you don't seem to understand where the contradiction comes from. So I'm just walking you through the logic. So I'm going to assume we have an understanding of what contradiction is. If it looks like we don't, we can come back to it. Do you understand what a valid argument is? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, what's a valid argument? Now, just go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to answer these essay questions. Well, I mean, if you want to go ahead. No, Mike, I, I don't want you to pretend like you know the answers, right? Because I don't think you know these basic things. That's why I'm asking you them. So what is a valid argument? I'm not into all this technical uh, fucking jargon for uh, critical thinking, you know? Okay, so you don't but actually, you, you don't you're actually you're dealing, know. You're dealing with all the technical well, stuff. Well, wait, you don't actually well, you're know not, if you're the argument is valid. Well, nothing nothing you, you do plugs into the real world. And I explain that. Well, wait. So, so would you affirm that you don't so you understand if you, naming the trait is impossible? You have to call a human, human a non-human. Mike, 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 you, you, you could never kill an innocent human. Mike, Mike, wait. Would you affirm that you don't understand if the argument is valid or not? You framed name the trait to make it impossible. That's a yes trait. or no. That's a yes or no. Would you affirm that you understand that you do not understand whether the argument is valid or not? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. There's all lots of th things that come into play to make the, to make an argument valid. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Are there lots of things that come into play to make an argument valid? I asked. Would you affirm that you don't understand whether the argument is valid or not? Yes. The argument? You mean this name the trade argument? Yes. Yeah, it's not valid. Okay, so if you're making the positive claim that the argument is not valid, I'm definitely going to make sure that you at least know what validity is. So can you just define validity? Yeah, with name the trait. No, the definition of validity has nothing to do with name the trait. No, 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 Mike, Mike, I'm going to cut you off right there. Mike, I'm going to cut you off right there. Mike, I'm going to cut you off right there. The definition of validity does not involve the word name the trait. Yeah, we're not, so we're not going to sit there and specifically answer your specific questions like I'm on trial. Right. No, 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 Mike, you've made, what? What? Wait, you've made a positive claim. The claim that you have made is that the argument is invalid. If you're going to make that claim, you absolutely must know what validity is. So I'd like you to give me a definition of validity to make sure that you understand what you're saying. Validity? What validity means? Yeah, validity in logic. It means it's proven to be correct. If something is valid, it's proven to be correct. No, that's not the definition of validity. If you look up validity and logic, you will not see the 
uh, definition okay. proven okay. to be correct. What so, we're going to so do? Would you, would you, would you affirm that you, you want to debate so, me, Mike? If you want to debate me, we'll have ten minutes where you can grill me like this, and I'll answer all your questions. Then we're going to have ten minutes where I wait, grill you, wait, and you're going to shut up, Mike, and you're going to answer all my questions. Mike, Mike, no, I, wait, you, you wait. can't debate like this. Yeah, no, Mike, you cannot. Mike, you cannot Mike, sit here and Mike, control a debate like Mike, this, no, no, where no, you Mike, drill Mike, questions Mike, you and I'm answering them. That's the way to debate. The points, right? You can't that is the way to try to dominate your debate. Wait, Mike, you can't weasel off of the points, right? So you've made a positive you claim. So you wait, Mike. And dominate no, 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 Mike, like Mike. Wait, wait, wait. This no, 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 no. Wait, wait. That's not how okay, I'm going to have to use priority. So, Mike, I also have a five times rule. So you've hit one here with being evasive, right? Once you hit five, I don't talk to people anymore. So what I am doing is, wait, did he leave? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that All was right. a good I think, debate. I think you left. 